Moneyball, starring Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill. It's based on a book which in turn is based on a real story of the 2002 baseball season played by the Oakland A's. Now, before you start shouting that you're not interested in a sports movie or a baseball movie or both, I'll have to stop you right there and say that it's actually not really either of those things. It's more of a drama about challenging a system, about finding a solution to a game that nobody else sees and exploiting it. If I had to compare the film to something else, I think the closest one would actually be The Big Short, as weird as it may sound, but it's also kind of similar to Le Mans 66. The gist of the story is that Brad Pitt plays the general manager of the team that's coming off a season where they almost managed to win and then lost in the very last game. Lost, crucially, to a team with a much larger budget, about twice as big as, as they had. Coming into the new season, three key players are leaving the team as well um, for better offers, which leaves the manager in a precarious position. Um, however, he meets and immediately hires Jonah Hill's character, an analyst with a background in e economics that has a completely different approach than all the rest of the people in the business. Instead of relying on subjective opinions of scouts in looking for players, he suggests a fully mathematical, statistical model. Uh, he builds this model to compare the performance of players in many different categories, and he's able to, to you know, to have some predictors and come up with a cheap team that in theory should be able to win and, and beat even much more expensive ones. But it's not so easy because the scouts and especially the head coach of the team constantly oppose the decisions of Brad Pitt, in effect basically undermining all that he's going for. And so this begins this conflict between the new guys who want to challenge the system of thinking and working that they believe is flawed and the old guard, so to speak, of all of the people who have created this system and cannot accept that there may be something better, a better approach. And the story revolves mainly around two questions. Will this statistical model work? And even if it will, will it be enough to change the game? I think the film explores these two questions in a really competent and engaging way. Its strength lies in not focusing on the sport as much as it could have and therefore making the conflict and the story way more universal. Because you can take that concept of something new and unproven versus an old system and apply it in many other aspects of life. There are some moments which delve into the baseball aspect and where I, as a result, got lost because I know absolutely nothing about the sport and the terminology used. But there's few enough of those moments not to disrupt my enjoyment of the film as a whole. I also have to say that for a straight drama like this, I really appreciated the technical aspects. Um, and here I mean the editing and the sound design especially. There are moments when Brad Pitt's character is trying not to watch or listen to the games live. For example, working out at his gym or sitting in his office. But he constantly cannot help himself. He, he constantly turns on the TV or the radio to get glimpses of what's going on in the field. And I think that those transitions, you know, the sound fading in and out and the cuts between the game and Brad Pitt's character are done in an excellent way. It really puts us, the audience, in his shoes. And there is also an emotional factor in the film in the presence of Brad Pitt's adorable daughter, who may seem like a totally background character, but actually plays a very crucial role in, you know, for his character and is an important, uh, important part of the ending of the film as well. So I think Moneyball is a really interesting story, told well, in an engaging and occasionally even gripping way, and it's certainly not just for fans of baseball. Good movie.